Hey guys, BeamerMarketplace.com here again. Just wanted to go over a uh, trim removal of the center console of the E70 X5. And I believe this applies to all models. Um, I think it's 2008 or 2007 through 2013. Uh, the reason why I'm removing this trim is because I've got a crack here. Um, was here when I bought it, but it aggravates me. Um, I like to have things looking nice and clean and as fresh as possible. So this is actually a very easy replacement. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video showing the removal and then I'll do another second video showing installation. You would think that installation would be uh, easy but a lot of people have problems with this uh, this trim here around the cup holders. And I've got a little trick to show. You guys will make it actually very quick, very easy. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I know a lot of people start off with the back here. Um, I find that it's sometimes a little bit more difficult. So what I've actually uh, found that it works out pretty well is just going in from the side here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and run some just tape here just to protect the trim itself. Uh, nothing fancy, just enough to have a barrier between my tools and the trim itself. The tools I'm going to be using are just your standard uh, interior tools. You can get these at Har Harbor Freight or any one of the supporting sponsors on the site. I'm going to start off with my small tool here. And I'm just going to stick it right in the corner here. Lift up. And you can see I already got the corner up. And I'm just going to slide this down here. And you can see it's already starting to lift up. And I can go ahead and slide it right in this corner here. And now just pull it up. And out it comes. Just as easy as that. Uh, the one thing is you don't want to tug real uh, tight or uh, real uh, hard. You've got this connection right here that goes over to your high drive controller. You just go ahead and pull that out and you're done. So the only thing that's left now is this high drive controller is getting it out of this. Very simple as well. There's a couple clips along here. You just push this tab up and this thing will come out. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it right now. See if we can get it out. Sorry, I hope that's in view. All right, so I got that on that side. Now I'm going to keep a little bit of pressure on this side while I'm doing this side. So we got probably one more back here. Boom, there you go. All done. Trim is out. We're around the gear selector. Actually, you can see some of the, the coating starting to come off. So uh, that is done. I'm going to place that over here. And the second trim piece is right here. This is the one that is uh, kind of causes a problem for people when they're reinstalling it. Um, but to remove it, you basically just lift up here. A couple of clips on the side. Just give it a little snap. And then just pull back. Just give it a little wiggle. And there you go. It's as easy as that. You got that out and uh, you can kind of see, well I don't know if you can see in the video here, there's some peeling right here and a little bit of peeling right here. Uh, again, I like to have things really nice, fresh looking, so I'm going to go ahead and replace this while I'm replacing the other piece. Hope that uh, helps you out. Uh, stay tuned for my second video where I'll show you a little trick on how to get that cup holder in there really easy. I know a lot of people have problems with that, so stay tuned. Thanks again.